brand tech here where tech is made simple. In a recent interview with the CEO of the analyst firm Trend Focus, according to recent reports, some interesting information was mentioned in this interview. Now, none of, the, none of this is actually official, but nonetheless, I thought it was um, interesting enough to post a video, as I know there are a lot of users who um, are interested in the future progress and development of Windows 11. Now, it came to light in this interview that Microsoft is pushing their OEMs, that's their original equipment manufacturers, uh, to stop using uh, hard disk drives. So that's your mechanical hard uh, drives as the compulsory uh, main boot drive. So that would be the primary storage device that would be pre-built in Windows 11 PCs. And that Microsoft is wanting their OEMs to start using SSDs as the compulsory boot drive. And this deadline apparently and switchover is set for next year, 2023 which seems a little uh, close and too soon, in my opinion. But as I say, none of this is official. But um, they say that Microsoft um, was asked to comment, and I quote, has nothing to share on this topic at this time, unquote. So as many of you do know, um, uh, the minimum system requirements uh, for uh, the Windows 11 operating system are already steep enough and quite strict. And, um, you know, those are a gig, one gigahertz or faster uh, with two or more cores, which isn't a problem for most users. Four gigs of RAM isn't a problem for most users. 64 gigs of space, that's not a problem. UEFI Secure Boot has been a problem. Uh, TPM2 Trusted Platform Module 2 has been a headache for most users wanting to upgrade to Windows 11. Uh, graphics card compatible with DirectX 12 or later. Um, 720p uh, resolution hasn't been an issue for most. And then Microsoft account with an internet connection required for setup for Windows 11 the home. So um, that's the current minimum system requirements. And apparently um, this change um, was mentioned um, in a full statement. And I'm going to just uh, uh, read this full statement quickly as it'll just give you a wider um, a kind of view of uh, this uh, conversation and um, these um, remarks that were made. Uh, the original cut in date based on our discussions with OEMs was to be this year. So that's 2022, but it has been pushed out to sometime next year. Uh, that's 2023, um, the second half in brackets, I believe, but not clear on the firm date and close the brackets. So um, the second half of next year is when version 23H2, um, that's the uh, second feature update that will be rolling out for Windows 11. Also, codenamed Sun Valley 3 is expected to roll out. So at this stage, there's a possibility that Microsoft could require an SSD to be your primary and compulsory boot drive with version 23H2. But as mentioned, none of this is official. And uh, um, it goes on to say in this statement that OEMs are trying to negotiate some level of push out. So they're trying to put the brakes on um, uh, these developments, so to speak. And in brackets, again, emerging market transition in 2024 or desktop transition in 2024. But things are still in flux. So um, that could be also mean that if it doesn't make next year's feature update, we could see it roll out with these requirements roll out for SSDs to be your compulsory boot drive to roll out with Windows 11 version 24H2, which will be 2024's uh, feature update for Windows 11. And um, at this stage, the hardware requirements, the current hardware requirements, minimum system requirements for Windows 11 don't require an SSD. Um, but Microsoft, as many of you do know, has already made it compulsory for some of the features like running Android apps. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch. As I said, nothing official at this stage, um, but um, nonetheless interesting enough. And I will keep you posted as I get any more information or if I find out of any more developments. But at this stage, there are rumors that Microsoft could be making SSDs um, the minimum system requirement as the compulsory boot drive, um, possibly as early as next year for the Windows 11 operating system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.